90% dark out. I got one. Oh, yeah. Low beam. LEDs on Amazon. Okay guys, welcome back. This whole video is about me upgrading the Goldwing uh, lights, the incandescent lights or the halogen lights that it has into LEDs. I found all the lights on Amazon pretty much. I took apart some of uh, the lights that I was gonna replace, figured out, took a photo because my eyes can't really see, zoomed in, saw what it says on the light, H4, H3, H2, 58 something, whatever. I'll have a list down below of all the lights that I changed and one by one, when and modernize, I'm gonna modernize this bike, put all LED, LEDs on it. Not all around, not all the you know Christmas tree things, but the headlights, the, the running lights. I already did these, but as I'm uh, as I'm doing this intro, I actually already did, uh, switched, swapped a few uh, a few of the lights. So now in this part. Well, I just completed uh, replacing the bulb on these uh, extra lights. The process of, you know, first things pretty much you can do on this bike is uh, change everything to LED. It's all halogen, halogen and incandescent. And I want a lot of light, so I went ahead and ordered, you know, I had to research what uh, lights they use. The H4, which is the high and beam low for the two headlights over here and these for the extra projectors whatever you want to call them additional they have an h3 which is this bulb this bulb now what's interesting about it i wasn't i wasn't familiar with it. it it has only one one wire and it gets the ground actually from the bulb itself so literally i had to replace this make sure i ordered it and make sure that it works and when i came to connect it with the only plug it had it was an old quick connect and i didn't have the proper you know connector and i was hurry and who wants to go to harbor freight right now so i just rigged something with a solder iron and i cut i clipped what i had on this side and soldered the other side with the new one and then clipped into here so pretty much i'll, I'll show you one when i do the next one i'll show you i kept this this is stock the uh the halogen and this is the led I'm waiting till it gets dark again so I can show you the difference between the two lights, why I actually did this. I just noticed that there's this reflector that blocks the mid range in the middle. Maybe it's only good for the halogen. I'll take it off because I just saw with the, uh, with the LED, it actually puts a stripe exactly in the middle over there. Almost completely dark. Let's try it out now. I think I'm gonna take that that bar out. Let's see what it looks like from the front. Let's say it's almost 80, 90% dark out. Significant difference. Let me show you what the lights look like when it's uh, completely dark out. There you go. The beauty of cheap LEDs on Amazon. Just replace the old incandescent lights bulb, light bulbs with LEDs. What a difference, huh? Okay, I replaced all five bulbs except for one of them. Let's see if you can tell which one. <laughs> right? Yeah, you got it, that dude. So this is the replacement lamps. That I got light bulbs, LEDs on Amazon, link below. If you need to replace your little bulbs, they're good for cars, everything. I'll put a little name over here, what uh, bulbs they replaced. Now that we're done with these, let me continue with the other side. Remember yesterday I did this side and waited for night so I can uh, show you uh, the difference. So now I'm gonna do that side. I solder over there and my pliers. I'm gonna go connect this the H3 bulb, which has uh, one feed power. And I'm gonna, I don't have a quick connect, so I'm gonna clip this off 
and uh, solder it on immediately uh, directly. I know I should go to Harbor Freight, but it's Sunday, everything is closed, and I'm impatient, and I just want to get it over with. So I'm going to solder this part to the other side, and that's it. And hopefully it won't burn out on me for the next 30 years. So I didn't bore you with the soldering. It was one one end to the other without a without a quick connect. Should have done a quick connect, but you know nobody's perfect, especially not me. And uh, <laughs> gonna button it down. I'll show you what it looks like. Mind you, it's still daylight, and uh, I can't wait till night because I have to head out to the airport. So I'll show you in a different uh, different opportunity. Anyway, I'm gonna head uh, put these out sideways so i get you know big coverage because i got the two h4 headlights that are coming on over here and these will be uh you know on an angle let's see what we got okay those are the lights obviously i need to fix them up raise this one a little bit there you go now let's put the projectors look how nice let me turn these on these are still the original they fill on the space. Once I put uh, the that LED is not good. So now in this part, I still have remaining uh, to get the headlights, which are H4s, and these two, which I forgot what they are. Again, I'll I'll put it down here. Uh, taking that apart, I don't know how to do that, but I checked uh, YouTube. YouTube showed me how to open up the, fair, the like the front part, a few screws, take a few panels off, tick, 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 tack, put it in, hopefully it should be chick chack. And there's one more thing that I actually want your input from uh, those of you that know these lights. But it, that question I'm gonna ask later on, just look now up close, see how where there's this piece of metal that I think it's there originally when the days of the halogen for whatever reason, if you guys know, I'll show you what it actually does to the lights. The LEDs are already installed over there. I'll, you'll see what I mean. If you know how to take care of that and uh, should I or should I not take those off, please let me know. But let's get into it, stay tuned. This whole mirror assembly can be pried out gently with uh, the rubber boot that comes out, okay? And then once you take that out, and fold it, you get access to, let me show you over here on this side, to these two, these two screws. You see those two screws? The top one, uh, and also the bottom one. I think, uh, let's start with the top one here and the other side as well. Okay, we're gonna take the top one out right here. And for that, I took a screwdriver. I'm not sure if the screwdriver itself is magnetic or not. So I just put a strong magnet on because these tend to fall in, so once it, it uh, is out, it's gonna stick to the screwdriver. <laughs> and I got it out. One side, and I'm gonna do the others, the other side. Got both screws out. Now this whole fascia, this whole front, uh, it's out it's off well and you take off uh, this part I didn't see other bikes uh, that show that but there's another screw over here that I took out now I'm gonna take out the other screw right there take that out total of four screws and then it gives us access to the headlight assembly two other bolts are out screws are out and this part comes out and we get a whole view and access to the to the headlight that I'm gonna be replacing two bulbs on over here. And I got a bulb for here and a bulb for here. All LEDs. Now we need to take these two out. Got this out now this exposes the two bolts over here that we need to take out in order to take the remove this whole assembly out 
Okay, now let's take these four bolts out. I'll start with the bottom ones, which have a little Phillips. They don't have anything. <laughs> they just have holes over here. Oh yeah, because there are the receiving, they're the receiving uh, bolts that held the trim piece over here. So that's going to be the bottom ones, and these are going to be the top ones. I think it's a 10 mil, 10 mil uh, socket. Yes, they are 10 mil millimeters. One of you guys <laughs> a few weeks ago mentioned and commented that I need to get one of these, and I forgot all about it. I got one. Let's see how much easier it's going to be now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to get addicted to this. Oh, variable speed, even, even nicer. Here, the last one, I don't want the whole thing to fall, so I'll go gent gently and hold it at the end. Here it comes falling. Let me turn the camera off. Last one is off. Now this whole thing should come out. And it's coming. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, nice. And there's just one plug in the back that I need to take out. Let's do that right there, that plug. Right there, I'm taking it out. Give me a second. And this wonderful piece is out. Now it's going to be easy to attend and put uh, the LEDs in. Got all these LEDs over here. Like I said, Amazon. I'm going to work them in. Should be easy. They're, they're rubber boots in the back. Clear them up. Install. And also these on two sides. I'm excited. Thirty-four years of yucky stuff. This is pretty easy, right? I don't need to really show you. You know this. It's still light. Let's put the new one in. The uh, is it an H? Thing over here on the top so you see yeah it's an h4 9003 h4 hb2 uh, amazon Ooh, and you get a little for the party so you because you're not allowed to touch big time so i got my gloves on now there's only one way to go in i mean you cannot go, make you cannot have it in the wrong way because the way the grooves the grooves are so let's just put it in and it fits surprise surprise it fits that's why there's a little lip over here it's on the outer rim do you see it right there that's where it goes it's on the outer rim that's why i couldn't get it in couldn't get it in again huh same concept. Can only fit one way. Got both of them on the outer rim. I'll connect, put the boots on and then connect them. Then I'll replace this one and that one. There's actually, you see there's a boot over here has that little tab. That little tab goes over here like that. Kind of messy but all it needs to do is uh protect uh from water put the boot on over here into there and then put it on like so no it just pops out and that's the bulb that's what it looks like so these are the thing on the top to show you i don't know They're like little bulbs take one I, look how cute they look look how cute they are they have the same same bottom same receptacle and it fits right in clicks right in I'm gonna pop it in here 
and it's just like it's it's a rubber sealing the whole thing and it's in place let's do the other side same thing the small screwdriver sharp screwdriver pop the the grommet out that holds and it pops out you see just like that and this comes out same thing pops in and brute force in that's it everything is in let me connect everything and see that it works in. How about that? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Let's see the high beam. Both high beams work. Oh man! I'll, I'll button there. I'll close everything up and show you what it looks like over there. Oh man, this is so bright. I close things. It's the reverse. It's a reverse of what I just did. Close up these four bolts, two on the top, two on the bottom. Then put uh, the small uh, grill over here, the black grill over here with the two screws on the top and the Honda fascia, plastic fairing, whatever. And then, uh, and then we're done. Let me do that. Already got the top one, both top ones, this one and now this guy. I'm enjoying this tool very much. There you go. All four bolts are, bolts are in. Now let's put these two. Okay, truth be told, I ran out of light literally earlier than I expected and I can't, uh, I simply can't see where the screws go over here. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning, finish it up. But I want to show you now when it's uh, dark, what it looks like. The light that I get from these, uh, these new bulbs. Okay, this is what the projectors look like. Right there. Now let me turn the lights on. Low beam. Low beam. High beam. Low, high. Low, let me add the projectors. Not much, but it's still there. High, and the projectors, done. These are the side projectors, look how dull they look. And with the headlights. <laughs> now you see that? That black line in the middle? That's what I was talking about before. Uh, if I take out those pieces of metal, I think that will solve that problem. And it's gonna be one round circle one round circle over here. The bike is on the side, that's why you don't really see it, and I don't want to move it off the stand right now, so. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna uh, finish up by closing the bike up uh, tomorrow morning. Real fast, you can't really see. I'll show you during the day what it looks like, but it looks nice and modern. I'll show you tomorrow morning. Let me put the high beams on again. Poof, that is powerful. So that's it guys. Can you see me? Can you see me? Good morning. Couldn't sleep at night. Last night I was having a hard time putting the trim piece, I mean the the fairing, into here. It just was not going in because of the trim piece and I couldn't find anything online. Uh, so I went to the owner, original service manual, the guy. I bought the bike from actually had this all these years 34 years he held on to it and i checked and it literally showed step by step so before the days of the videos that's how you used to do things you used to go to the owner's manual and the service manual and check things out so i found that in this specific year this trim piece is the only Further models, older, like newer models already had the piece of metal connected to this trim piece. So you, when you took that piece off, everything came out. Apparently this year, they had two, two separate parts, the metal Honda fairing thing and this trim piece. So for actually 
the 89 model, you don't need to take the top metal trim uh, fairing off. All you need to take is this off, this trim piece during the take breakdown and takedown. Once you take this trim piece off, you get access to these four bolts over here. So in order for me to put that the metal piece uh, on, I need to remove this trim piece right now. See, because I had, did not have access to these two grooves. These two grooves right here. Once uh, the trim piece was on, so I took the trim piece off, or at least one bolt off, and I'm able to get it in those grooves. And now, secured in place. Now these two screws will go in. Then finally, the trim piece the trim piece off I put the top the top bolt top screw in now I'll do the same thing to the other side right here I'll find a way and now this trim piece is the last piece of the puzzle right here done now fix the mirror uh, trim pieces with the rubber boots. That's it. Now as promised, it's all closed and set. And now I can say nicely goodbye to you. I am Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out. Hope you learned something from this, from this video. Easy install bulb replacement. No need to buy a huge different fixture. Just a light bulb, that's all. Do it.